The breakthrough in solid-state batteries at the Qingdao Institute of Energy of the Chinese Academy of Sciences is exciting. Solid-state batteries have long been seen as the frontier of next-generation battery technology, and the progress made by the Chinese Academy of Sciences may bring new dawn to its practical application. By improving the conductivity of solid-state electrolytes, they have overcome challenges such as interface stability, paving the way for mass production of sulfide solid-state batteries in the future. This breakthrough is expected to bring qualitative leaps in battery safety, energy density, and more. However, there are still many questions regarding the practical application of solid-state batteries. 1. Has the solid-state battery technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences undergone sufficient testing in terms of safety and cycle life? Can it meet the requirements of large-scale applications such as automobiles? 2. Besides sulfide solid-state batteries, are there other types of solid-state battery technologies under development? What is their progress? 3. Based on the technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, what factors may affect the commercialization process of solid-state batteries? How do factors such as policy support, cost, and market demand affect their development prospects? These questions will determine whether solid-state battery technology can truly achieve mass production and application, thereby changing our energy landscape. Is this true? Dear viewers, Welcome back to our channel. I am delighted to share and discuss these topics with the audience again. Solid-state battery technology, as the next-generation energy storage solution, has always been a hotspot of concern in the scientific and industrial communities. Recently, the Qingdao Institute of Energy of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made a significant breakthrough in this field, which is not only a technological leap but also heralds profound changes in the future energy landscape. Let's understand what solid-state batteries are. Compared with traditional lithium-ion batteries, Solid-state batteries use solid electrolytes instead of liquid electrolytes, offering higher safety and energy density. In theory, this new type of battery can significantly increase the range of electric vehicles while reducing the risk of thermal runaway, greatly enhancing battery safety. Researchers at the Qingdao Institute of Energy of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have successfully solved key technical problems hindering the production of sulfide solid-state batteries clearing the final obstacles for the large-scale production of batteries for large vehicles. The research team comes from the Advanced Energy Storage Materials and Technology Research Group, dedicated to optimizing battery stacking processes and overcoming long-standing pain points and bottlenecks in the industry. This innovative progress means that China is confident in achieving the commercial mass production of sulfide solid-state batteries by 2026 leading the battery industry to a new milestone. This announcement comes not from a well-known battery manufacturer or a popular automaker, but from the leading figure in the scientific community, the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Note that the solid-state batteries mentioned by the Chinese Academy of Sciences this time are not the semi-solid-state batteries that were buzzing recently, but real solid-state batteries. So, can the Chinese Academy of Sciences intervention bring a surprise to the battery industry? Next, let's see what bottleneck problems the scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences have solved this time and what difficulties they have overcome. In previous discussions, we have provided a preliminary introduction to solid-state batteries and the widely used conventional lithium batteries. Let's further delve into these two battery technologies and their key differences. One of the most significant differences between solid-state batteries and traditional lithium batteries is the electrolyte materials they use. Traditional lithium batteries use liquid or gel-like organic electrolytes, while solid-state batteries, as the name suggests, use solid electrolytes. The advantages of using solid-state electrolytes are obvious. Firstly, Due to the absence of liquid components, solid-state batteries are far superior in thermal stability to traditional lithium batteries. This greatly enhances the battery's safety under extreme temperatures, 
especially in preventing short circuits and thermal runaway reactions caused by overheating. In addition, the non-flammability of solid-state electrolytes also means that the risk of fires and explosions is significantly reduced in the event of battery damage or puncture, providing higher safety guarantees for devices using these batteries. Another significant advantage is the substantial increase in energy density. Solid-state electrolytes allow battery designers to optimize electrode materials and structures more freely, as they are not limited by liquid electrolytes. This means that more energy can be stored in the same volume or weight, or conversely, the battery can be made lighter and smaller for the same energy output. This is particularly important for applications requiring long-range capabilities such as mobile devices and electric vehicles. However, manufacturing commercially viable solid-state batteries faces a major challenge, developing ideal solid-state electrolyte materials. This material must meet multiple performance requirements, including sufficient ion conductivity to maintain good charge-discharge rates, good chemical stability to prevent adverse reactions with electrode materials, and sufficient mechanical strength to resist physical stress, ensuring the long-term reliability of the battery. Currently, researchers are exploring various possible materials, such as ceramics, polymers, and their composites to find the best solution. Currently, the field of automotive batteries tends to use sulfides as solid-state electrolyte materials. This material has high ionic conductivity, which helps achieve high-speed charge and discharge, while also performing well in terms of cost and mechanical properties. However, a major drawback of sulfide electrolytes is poor interface stability which easily leads to adverse reactions with electrode materials, resulting in rapid decreases in battery capacity and safety. To address this issue, the research team at the Chinese Academy of Sciences has found an effective method through relentless efforts and repeated experimental verifications. They found that by adding specific doping elements to sulfide electrolyte materials, the conductivity of the material could be significantly improved. The key to this doping technology lies in selecting the appropriate elements and determining the optimal doping concentration to ensure that the chemical stability and mechanical strength of the electrolyte are not negatively affected. Through precise synthesis processes, the research team successfully uniformly incorporated two different elements into the solid-state electrolyte matrix. These two elements play a role in optimizing ion channels, they change the crystal structure of the electrolyte at the atomic level, providing more transmission pathways for lithium ions and reducing the energy barriers for ion migration. Experimental results show that this new electrolyte material has increased its conductivity by 3.5 times compared to before doping at room temperature, which is a huge advancement for practical solid-state batteries. High-conductivity solid-state electrolytes not only help improve the overall energy density of batteries but also stabilize the operation of batteries under high loads, greatly enhancing their application potential, especially in fields with extremely high stability requirements such as electric vehicles and large-scale energy storage systems. The release of this research achievement has attracted widespread attention from the international academic community. It not only demonstrates the leading position of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in the research of solid-state electrolyte materials, but also provides valuable reference information for global researchers, promoting the development of the entire solid-state battery technology. Currently, based on this breakthrough, the research team is further exploring the long-term performance and scalability of this new type of electrolyte material in order to quickly transfer it from the laboratory to actual production. They believe that with further research and technological maturity, future solid-state batteries will achieve higher safety, longer cycle life, and a wider range of applications, making significant contributions to the development of sustainable energy. Official information shows that multi-layer pouch batteries manufactured using new technology can cycle 300 times without capacity reduction and are undergoing continuous testing. At the same time, the research team is preparing for a 20-ampere-hour sulfide solid-state battery production line, 
planning to achieve mass production by 2026. This technology is considered a breakthrough and deserves attention. The question is, will we see mass production applications of solid-state batteries in the next few years? Finally, let me summarize today's video, hoping it has brought you some inspiration and value. The achievements of the Qingdao Institute of Energy of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in solid-state battery technology undoubtedly paint a bright blueprint for the future energy development. However, from the laboratory to the market, solid-state batteries still need to undergo tests in safety, stability, economy, and policy environment. We have reason to believe that after overcoming these challenges one by one, solid-state batteries will occupy an important position in the future energy landscape. While looking forward to the landing of solid-state battery technology, we should also pay attention to its long-term performance in practical applications and how to find the right positioning in the existing market. In the future, this technology may bring revolutionary impacts, changing our perception of energy storage and usage. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.